Today we're out at the Denmore Fossil Quarry, which is a Triassic plant locality. Dates to about 220 odd million years. Uh, in terms of the quality of the fossils out here, it's actually world class. There's perhaps only one other fossil site on the planet that uh, is a, as abundant and rich um, as the fossils that we're going to be looking at here today. Now one thing you want to do when you get to a place like this is have a look at what the basic geology you can see is. You could just go out uh, banging away looking for fossils, but what you want to do is document a little bit of the stratigraphy. We talk about climate change in the future, what happens if it's going to get cold, if it's going to get wet, if it's going to get dry, if we have these super cyclones. You know, and the thing is, these things have happened in the past at different times and the fossil record itself provides evidence of how life responded. And if we can learn from the past, then there's an amazing application for applying what we know to predict what might happen in the future. But uh, this is the sort of thing you want to pay attention to because that might be the key to the depositional environment. Sure. This is a great place to come and show students how fossils occur actually out in nature rather than just showing pictures in books or individual rocks on a lab bench somewhere. This is where they occur and you can see all the information that comes with them, like the entire depositional environment. We can see the stratigraphy in the quarry. We can see the rock types here that don't have good fossils in them and which ones do and look at their relationship so we can understand the whole history of deposition for this interval of time. So it makes a difference to the way they lay. The very earliest dinosaurs were eating the plants that we're actually digging up. 